Hello, I'm Dr. Brian Moran at Chicago Prostate Center here with one of my patients, Bob. And Bob's a very healthy 70-year-old gentleman who has an excellent quality of life. He underwent a prostate seed implant approximately four years ago. And uh, fortunately, Bob has done very well with treatment. He had a significant cancer, intermediate risk prostate cancer. His quality of life has been very good, but Bob did have what we call a benign rise of his PSA about a year and a half ago, and it's finally resolved. And this can occur after prostate seed implants. It's not a reason for alarm. We closely monitor that and allow the PSA to resolve. But more importantly, how are you doing now, Bob? How do you feel? How's your experience with the procedure and your quality of life afterwards? I thought the procedure was incredibly easy and comfortable. Um, there was some discomfort after it for a very short time, um, but uh, that resolved itself. And the thing that I enjoyed most was that um, the kind of symptoms I hear about following prostate surgery and, and the other techniques which are used for cancer were really not there for me. I went through a short period of uh, discomfort after the procedure, but after that, things resolved themselves and I've been, you know, symptom free for, for years now. Beautiful, so I think this represents uh, an excellent example of benign rise. It's not a cause for alarm, it, as long as it's closely monitored by a capable practitioner. And um, overall, Bob, we're just delighted with your outcome. And I'm delighted with my outcome, believe me. Um, the 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 rise in the PSA that we, we found, uh, you know, that was alarming uh, at first, but um, the end result is that seems to be resolving itself, and uh, I'm symptom-free, uh, side effect-free, uh, and I'm enjoying uh, working out and doing everything I did before uh, I was diagnosed, so I'm, I'm happy. So in the past, when patients would have a benign rise, unfortunately, uh, practitioners might just immediately go to hormone therapy or pursue a biopsy immediately and, and this is probably not advisable. So uh, we were very cautious with Bob and, and conservative and uh, it served us well. And I was very happy that we took that route because uh, the biopsy is not the most pleasant part of this procedure and I was glad not to have another one. It was, it was good. And so we've turned up with uh, a good PSA today. That's made me and Dr. Moran, both pretty happy. All right, well, thank you. You're certainly welcome.